Belgium is quickly running out of time if it is to avoid winning a dubious world record. That of the country to go the longest without a government. More than eight months after their last elections and this country of 11 million people continue to face a very uncertain political future. This is all due to sharp divisions between the Flemish and the Walloon groups in the country. In Brussels, considered the melting pot of Belgium, the language divide is clear. But people on the streets of Belgium's capital say that the politicians are making the split much bigger than it is in reality. Politicians are still convinced that it's impossible, but we think it's possible. So I think they should just stop the mess and make a government. In Brussels on Thursday, newspapers claim the no-gov world record of 249 days now officially belong to Belgium even though Iraq's record of 289 days will not be passed until the 30th of March. However you look at it, it is clear that Belgium is indeed a serious contender for this dubious record. On the streets of Brussels, there is a little confidence that this fate will be avoided. Les habitants doutent et se posent pas mal de questions. Et ça crée beaucoup de conflits, enfin encore plus de conflits entre les Flamands et les Wallons. Il y a trop de différences entre les avis politiques d'un côté et de l'autre. Bart de Wever, Elio Durupo, c'est l'eau et le feu. Il faut qu'on trouve une solution. Mais ça doit se trouver entre personnes humaines. Il faut que le problème soit résolu au niveau de l'humain et pas du politique. Given the strong emotions in the Flemish and Walloon political classes, the prospect of a total split between the North and the South remains a real possibility. With no new elections in sight and a continuing deadlock in the political sphere, Belgium's political class have much work to do if they are to avoid going down in the history books for all the wrong reasons.